Aaron Rodgers may be playing for a new team, but his love for psychedelic drugs remains the same. The Jets quarterback spent a week at a psychedelic conference in Denver, and he made an argument for the legalization of these kind of drugs. Take a listen. And I know in, in Colorado that uh, psilocybin has been decriminalized, but is it not? Yeah. Is it not ironic that the things that actually expand your mind are, are illegal and the things that keep you in lower chakras and dumb you down have been legal for centuries? Because I guarantee you, all these bums who want to, you know, come after me online about my experience and stuff, they've never tried it. They're the perfect people for it. We need to get these people taking it. And you know what? It's going to be hard to cancel me because... You know, the previous year, 26 touchdowns, four interceptions. We had a good season. Ayahuasca, 48 touchdowns, five interceptions. MVP. What are you going to say? The response from other people in the sports industry has been pretty incredible to see basketball players and baseball players and surfers and entertainers and my own teammates and colleagues across the league reach out. Uh, and either share their story about their own uh, medicine journey or ask to be a part of an upcoming one was pretty pretty special. And now we have the opportunity to change the conversation by dispelling these archaic myths about the dangers of them or the negative side effects or whatever it might be and start to share the actual wisdom and truth about it. And it's a permission slip for other people to stand up and talk about their own experiences, to join in, to dive in, to learn about it. And I think that's how we move this conversation forward is for more people to be out there, you know, comfortable talking about uh, their own journeys, their, their, their spiritual journey, their medicine journey, their, their ceremonies, so that we can uh, bring this to people that need it. Aaron Rodgers and his good pal, Aubrey Marcus, who sat along the NFL style at a podium, glowed about their uses of psychedelics while addressing a big crowd. And Rodgers repeated over and over again that everyone should have an open mind to the drugs. No thank you. The 39-year-old who's been vocal in the past about his use of ayahuasca said yet again his trip on the psychedelic tea helped transform him from one of the league's best signal callers back into MVP. Didn't work so well for him last season though but I still love him. Aaron Rodgers also put his critics on blast who he referred to as bums, saying they are the ones who need to try psychedelics the most. All these bums who want to, you know, come after me online about my experience and stuff, they've never tried it. They're the perfect people for it. We need to get these people taking it. And you know what? It's going to be hard to cancel me because, you know, the previous year, 26 touchdowns, four interceptions. We had a good season. Ayahuasca, 48 touchdowns, five interceptions, MVP. What are you going to say? Aaron Rodgers has used psychedelics in the offseason as a way to decompress following brutal NFL seasons, a practice for which he has been criticized by some fans and analysts. However, the quarterback is under the belief that anyone who jokes about it hasn't actually tried the psychedelics. As part of his speech, Aaron Rodgers also said he's heard from all kinds of athletes since he initially opened up about his ayahuasca use, claiming everyone from basketball players to baseball players to surfers and entertainers have reached out to him to share their similar experiences. Aaron Rodgers won the Super Bowl in 2010 and he has been searching for his second title ever since. The quarterback mentions that once he reached the mountaintop in the NFL, he needed another purpose in life. Success in life was holding the Lombardi Trophy, he said. Now I've done that, now what? Now what's the purpose of all of this? Even if he's able to win a second championship, and Rogers has made it clear that he has found more to life than winning, and he credited this spiritual journey for it. But anyways, let me know what you think in the comments down below.